this breakfast welcome to another video and uh, let's see it's early afternoon a little bit past noon decided to uh, get some cardio done this morning and then I wanted to set up to film so kind of got everything prepared and a little bit later than normal but uh, somehow my candles still go going so I guess it's not such a bad day right so today I want to take you through my back workout what I've been doing, uh, how I've kind of been staying stronger than ever, even though I'm not on a dedicated bulk right now, just been eating around maintenance for the most part. Some weeks tightening up a little bit more with my carbs more than others, but for the most part, meals stay the same, which means breakfast stays the same, which is six eggs. So I like to do two whole eggs, get in a little bit of, little bit of fats, and then four egg whites just to up the protein as well as one cup of the oatmeal. Been doing a quick oats lately, which is it's a little bit, uh, loses the texture a little bit from uh, kind of the gritty old fashioned oats, but mixes pretty well with the protein. And sometimes if I don't feel like getting the creatine in with my protein shake, a little strange, but I'll throw it in the, uh, the oatmeal as well. So been rocking with that flavor. I think it's a vanilla oatmeal cookie, matter of fact. So it, pairs pretty well with the oats. If I don't do that, sometimes I'll do, they got a little cinnamon crunch one. So I like to start my weeks with chest, usually chest and shoulders, and uh, I'll go into to bench press and, and that's been better than ever. So I've been uh, really liking fatiguing the muscle, the major muscle group I'm trying to train with the isolation exercise first, and then going into the first big compound movement so I don't have to lift as heavy, you know, the idea is over time saves, saves a little wear and tear on the joints, but still fatigues the muscle effectively. So I've been liking that and been seeing results and I'm still getting stronger in that second compound, second lift, which is a compound even still. So like yesterday I went in, crushed some cable flies. Uh, and then after four sets of those, went straight into the bench press. And it was smooth, man. I'm not gonna lie, I hit. I, now I did have a spot, but I still got 315 for a good seven to eight reps for three sets. And then I think I did 285 and dropped to two, excuse me, 275 and then dropped to 225 afterwards for a nice little drop set back off the weight a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast and then uh, we'll get to the gym shortly. And I think I'm just gonna go solo on this one. We'll see how the video comes out. I think, uh, I don't know. I kinda like the creative challenge. We'll see. We'll see if I'm, uh, if my videography skills are up for that challenge. That's for sure. Started with pull-ups, the usual back that follow, three sets, 10 to 12. Open everything up, get the upper body warm, get the lats ready to go. And then now I'm into the first compound movement. So, for the first real heavy movement, I should say. And a uh, little barbell row. Right, three sets, I might go up on the last set and just kind of power through it. But right now they're 10 to 12 with a really good stretch good squeeze, good control, a little bit of momentum in the second half of the set. That's what I want right now, so keep pushing.
that have been a cleaner set had I just put on straps instead of trying to go over over with the chalk. I mean, I don't even know that was eight reps, but I don't even know if that was a good four, so. I'm gonna do it again. partials with that third one just because I'm getting a little fatigued so I'm getting like six seven solid reps plus out a couple partials that I'm cool with the last one I already did the pull-ups I'm not gonna do a drop set here I'm gonna save that for a little later but uh hit the same thing six seven and then finish with some partials That's gonna be it for the warm up on the rack pull. I was already warm, but comfortable with 225 on the bar because that's what I was doing for the for those rows. Yeah, felt comfortable with that, so I was like, you know what? Let's start with 315. Just felt it out, five, six. Same thing with 405, but I've been just doing these with a little chalk. I didn't learn my lesson, so 405 was, I was fighting on five just to keep a grip. That was a little fingertip rep, so. Put some straps on, put it on a plate on, and then get into these working sets. Good eight to 10. Maybe I'll go up past five plates, but it's, I want the squeeze, I want the control, and I want the back development. I don't really care as much about the number going up, but you know, it's still good to see. I was definitely firing with my glutes more than I wanted to because I really want to feel the weight and engage my lats with this one. So as I'm at the top, I'm almost, as I'm coming up, pulling my lats down to really, to really just place that the stimulus and the emphasis on them because I don't need, I want just more glute activation every, with, which each, which, with each set that I fatigue. So on this one, I was happy enough with the last set. I'm gonna go a little bit slower, shoot for five or six. And if it's starting with the glute, that's it. I'm gonna cut the set, but still put a little power into it. Gonna be my last set on this T-bar row, going nice and wide. So as I'm coming down, I'm really getting a good stretch across my upper back, and then as I'm squeezing up, I'm getting the benefit of getting my lats, a bit of bit of my posterior delt, a bit of trap in there too. Just really build the overall upper back thickness when I'm going high and wide, especially high, kind of with the elbow. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have a little fun with this last drop set.
classic style of closing in at the end of sessions. And I think that helps me stay a little more accountable with my nutrition too, especially now that I'm not like, tracking, you know. If, let's see, let me know if you guys are rocking with, with this kind of style of video. It's a little different, but uh, you know, I feel like it's a little more personal, so kind of get into the details of things and what's been working for me a little bit better, I feel like this way. It's kind of more, a little more on the fly. This beater, along with this hat, is my personal brand, Cross Project. So if uh, you want to check anything out, we got a few things in stock still on the website. So I, uh, yeah, maybe more updates on that one in the next video. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day. That's a back session, but what do I know? I'm just Merck.